hypocrisy, democracy. They've already sold themselves out. Islamic world, there is no Islamic world. There are Muslims living in a country calling themselves Islamic countries, but they're not living according to Shariat, and they're electing their leaders. What do I say about this? I say that may all the heaviness fall on those ones, on their heads, those leaders, the scholars, the government officials, those ones who have power, that they are being silent, they are going to be questioned, not us, not me. We are not going to be questioned. We are praying and we are not liking it, we are crying. But those ones who are keeping very silent about this, and they are not defending the right of the Prophet ﷺ, heavy punishment is going to fall on this nation. Understand that. Heavy punishment. First, this nation is going to be punished. The Muslims are going to be punished. And they're going to be continually punished. They're still being punishing. As we're speaking, this nation is being punished. But don't worry. You're saying, oh, but it's only the innocent people who are being punished. Don't worry. Innocent people, if they're taken out from this world, they enter straight to paradise and they go to the higher stations. Don't worry. Allah is just. That is not a punishment. That is a mercy. Those ones who are guilty, yes, they are going to be punished here and hereafter. Because those ones, they have already betrayed the Holy Prophet. But in reality, it is the whole Ummah to have betrayed. Because we say we don't want a Khalifa. Only the Khalifa can protect Islam. Only the Khalifa can protect the Muslims. Even if all the Muslims in this world, they have all the wealth of this world. And they have all the technology of this world and all the knowledge of this world and all the weapons of this world. Still, we cannot protect ourselves because there is no heavenly protection. Because only the Khalifa is a shadow of Allah on earth. Not the scholars. Not this precedence. Only the Khalifa. And that Khalifa has to be appointed by the awliya. The Khalifa cannot be appointed now by feet. They are gathering now also to appoint a Khalifa. But there will be a Khalifa that they say, Oh, Muslims, they want a Khalifa. We're going to give the Muslims a Khalifa. But there will be a Khalifa that has been trained in the West. What kind of Khalifa is that going to be? Muslims must wake up. Yes. But Muslims did not want a Khalifa. Muslims wanted this life. So Allah says, You don't want a Khalifa. Huh? You don't want my representative. Huh? You don't want my protection. Go ahead. Live your life. And see what happened for 100 years since that time until now. What kind of humiliation and suffering and pain we've gone through as an ummah. So those Wahhabi shaitans, their days are numbered too. That's why they're getting very <coughs> desperate. They're moving very quickly to destroy everything. Because shaitan knows his time is up. His time is up. And inshallah Rahman. Don't worry so much. All these new buildings in one night, they all be taken away and they'll be going to be thrown into the ocean. And the angels will come and they will build old style architecture and buildings and everything to replace those ones. So although we are sad and we are not happy about it, still I blame, yes definitely, blame goes to the leaders, not to us. So many, some people they're saying, oh he's... Is being so tough on the leaders, it's everyone's responsibility too. No, it is not everyone's responsibility. Our responsibility is only so far as what we can do. But if you can do more and you're not doing it, responsibility falls on you. So those ones who are very quick to promote themselves, going around just to promote themselves, not even Islam, all those so-called scholars, and very big time now, interfaith scholars uh, going around. Okay, you want to do interfaith? Why are you not speaking for the sake of haq? You're representing Islam, Islam is haq. Why are you not speaking? Why are you not saying this, this, this is happening? We have to do something. At least I must say my position and we all must do something. They're not. They don't want to touch anything that's controversial because it's going to damage their reputation. So... Astaghfirullah alazim wa atubu alayh.
big punishment coming to this nation, to the Muslims. We have to prepare ourselves for that. We cannot be in denial. Inshallah Rahman, Ya Allah keep us in safety and keep us in this way of a Sahib al Saif strongly until we die and that the winds that are coming it will not affect us. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha. Amen.